Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Someone in the comments suggested I try a cushion from Abid, so that is what I'm gonna be doing today. This is the Abid Hydrating Cushion Compact. So I got the hydrating cushion because it's winter in Korea, it's very, very cold. Um, my skin gets pretty dry in the winter time, so um, I thought it was appropriate for me to get a hydrating one. They have a hydrating one and I think a brightening one. While I apply it, I'll explain the two differences. So it comes with the cushion compact. I'm gonna open it inside. The mirror, the puff, and then cushion. All right, so this is how it looks like. Just the white, simple case. I got the shade 22. I don't think it has a name for it. Skin Shield 22. Okay, so I open it, as you saw, it comes with a mirror, it comes with a cushion. Um, it feels like your standard cushion. Okay. There's, it's very thin. I noticed that it's pretty thin compared to other cushion. Anyways, okay, so I'm just going to open it. Ooh, that's like my favorite part when I'm opening a cushion. All right, so, oh, wow, this is really tight. I usually could put three fingers in there, but this one's pretty tight. So for this test, I don't have a primer on. It's just my bare skin. Um, I only did my skincare routine. I'm not going to set the foundation as well. I'm just gonna apply it as is, just to see how it does on its own. All right, so here I go. This is how it looks like. There it is. I also need a mirror, so I'm gonna take this off. So I have a couple redness, acne scars, discoloration. So let's see how much this will cover. So let me tell you about this product. This cushion claims to be long wearing, high coverage, and moisturizing. It has aqua oil filled with moisture, which I have no idea what that means, but it's supposed to help create dewy natural finish. It also contains moisturizing powder that absorb any excess oil on the skin and illuminating powder that reflects light, creating a glowy finish. It also contains SPF 50 plus and PA++. There are three shades, 21 pure light, 22 pure natural, and 23 medium. I got the 22 pure natural. The brightening cushion has brighter and matte finish and it also has a higher coverage. It is for those who prefer a brighter skin tone with a matte finish. All right, so I just applied one layer of the product on this side of my face. First of all, I really love the color. It matches my skin so well. Mostly with Korean cushion foundation, the product um, usually is a bit too white. Second of all, the coverage is medium. Some of my acne scars are peeking through, but if you know me, you know that I like a natural finish, therefore I don't mind it if it peeks through a little bit. But overall, I think it did a great job evening out my skin tone, even though some of my acne scars are peeking through. All right, so now I'm gonna apply on this side of my face. I forgot to mention the smell. The smell is very, very light, hardly noticeable. Um, but it's like a clean scent. Alright, so I just applied on this side and this is how it looks. It has a matte finish. I thought it would have a more glowy finish um, because it's a hydrating cushion foundation. But it's pretty matte. It doesn't feel like a hydrating cushion. More of a matte cushion. Right now, I just feel that it's not hydrating enough. So this product is a light to medium coverage. But I'm going to apply another layer just to see if I could build up the coverage. So I applied the second layer. And this is how it looks. It actually doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too cakey, which is good. Um, it did cover a lot more. It does feel very comfortable and light on my skin. It just doesn't feel like a very hydrating foundation. I don't know, the more I look at it, the more I really like it. And I really, really like the color. It matches so well. And um, that's very important to me because finding a right shade in Korea is pretty difficult. To kind of put my first impression together, I like the color, 
I like that it's lightweight. I like that it covers all my redness and acne scars. So I like that the coverage is buildable. Did I mention it's comfortable on my face? It's comfortable on my face. I'm okay with the matte finish. However, I kind of would like it if they had a little bit of glow. So it is now 10, 18. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll check in throughout the day. Okay, so it's almost two, it's pretty much so called. So it's 1.58 and let's see how um, the cushion is. So here's how it looks. My forehead feels pretty greasy. I did wear a mask. I wore a cloth mask and it did transfer. It didn't claim that it doesn't transfer onto your mask. So um, I'm not surprised that it transferred. But um, as you can see, it kind of rubbed off a little bit here. Oh my god, my lips are so dry. <gasps> Please excuse my lips. I think it, it's okay. It's not bad. It didn't rub too much on this side. Hmm. Overall, it is pretty good other than the... A little bit of grease on my forehead but I have pretty oily forehead so I'm not surprised there but my skin is pretty shiny right now but I think um, I developed oil because my skin is pretty dry but so far right now it looks good it doesn't look that bad it didn't crease a lot around here and it usually does like around my mouth area it creases a lot but it's still pretty good. So I just wanted to check in with you to give you an update and I will check in again at the end of the day. All right, so it is the end of the night. It is currently 9.31. So I've been wearing this foundation for almost 12 hours and let's see how it did. I'm gonna zoom you in. So this is how it looks like on this side. And this is how it looks on this side. So right now, this area feels very, very tight. Therefore, I don't think this is a cushion foundation that's hydrating enough for me. But overall, I really like how it looks right now. Even though I wore this foundation for 12 hours, it still looks pretty good. The only places that I would touch up would probably be around my nose and under my eyes. The forehead looks okay as well. Um, I would just probably blot any um, extra oil that I have. But other than that it looks really really good if you want to see my mask it's just covered with foundation but it still didn't rub off that much maybe because i'm wearing a cloth mask so this test was just on its own and then tomorrow i'm gonna apply a primer and set it with a powder and see how it does okay so this time i'm gonna be priming applying the cushion foundation and then i'm gonna set it with the powder so first i'm going to prime my skin and then now I'm gonna be applying the cushion foundation Here is one layer. Now I'm gonna apply on this side. So here is just one layer on both sides of my face. It's looking a lot more dewier than yesterday. All right, so now I'm gonna put a second layer on. And then this is the second layer on. Ooh, it doesn't look cakey at all. It just really makes your skin look very clear. Now I'm gonna powder my face. I'm using a hydrating primer. I just applied a thin layer of powder. It doesn't, it still doesn't look that bad. It's 11.13. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll check in throughout the day. So it is 4.09 p.m. And um, I just wanted to check in with you just to see how the foundation is doing. And 
to be honest it's not looking good i feel like i liked it better without the primer and the setting powder like if you kind of see the nose it, it like bunched up here it creased um around my nose i don't even know what's happening on my cheeks it rubbed off a lot um this is my mask but i don't know i don't know i kind of liked it without the primer and the setting powder i liked it as it was just the product um but this is how it looks let's check if my forehead is greasy there's a little bit of grease on top of my forehead all right so then i'll check in at the end of the day um, all right so it's the end of the day i just finished with work it is 9 36 p.m all right so let's see how the cushion looks here's the side and then here's the side even though I set it with a powder, it did crease on my lids. So the forehead looks okay. It did increase around the fine lines on my forehead. My skin feels pretty dry. I feel like it feels more dry than before. So overall, I kind of do like this cushion foundation. It's buildable. It has a really nice finish. It's long wearing. The color wasn't too light, nor it was too dark. It was just the perfect perfect shade which is really hard to find from a korean cushion foundation it also doesn't have a strong scent this cushion also has spf 50 and pa plus 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 the only downside to this cushion foundation is that it wasn't hydrating enough for my skin for the winter time however i could see myself enjoying this product during other seasons like fall spring and summer i really liked how the shade really matched my skin well so for now i think i'm gonna be saving this until the weather gets warmer for the winter time i think i'm gonna be using my other cushion foundation just because it's a bit too dry for my skin all right so that is it for my cushion review on the abid hydrating cushion compact if you're interested in the latest korean beauty products make sure to subscribe as i like to review them also comment what products i should test out next and i'll see you in my next video bye